praise the Lord. Father God, I give you thanks. It's so sweet to be alive. Amen. It's so nice when you wake up in the morning and you realize that you are in your right state of mind. You have all your senses. Amen. You know, it is enough to shout hallelujah and give God the praise. Amen. Because the breath that we breathe, it comes to no one, from no one else, from no other source, but from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the air that we breathe. Amen. He is the living bread. Hallelujah. Our God is such an awesome and amazing God. And especially... When you give him all the privilege in your heart to do whatever he wants to do. Amen. That means your body, your life, your everything don't belong to you anymore, but it belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a joy, a real joy when you can serve God in the beauty of his holiness. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Father, I thank you again, Lord. Thank you for carrying me through, for by your grace, my God, dear Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercies that carry us through. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we live in every moment because of you. Thank you, Jesus. You are great and greatly to be praised. Cover me under your blood right now. Let your anointing flow through me, God. Amen. Let your holy, let your holy words, your Holy Spirit uh, take its place in my life, my God, in the name of Jesus. Because you are holy and your words are holy. Amen. Your Holy Spirit is in control, my God. Father, we bless your name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Thank you, Lord, for taking me out of the mary clay and placing my feet on the rock to say because you are the rock of ages. You are the rock of our salvation. You are our rock. Amen. There is none like you, my God. Hallelujah. And we're going to continue to build on your foundation of truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Cover the studio under your blood, my God. And Father, cover all the workers under your blood. And we thanks for the opportunity where we can bring forth your holy words. Amen. Your words that is alive in our life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Cover the nation under your blood. Cover Grenada, Carrick, One Pity, Matnik under your blood. Every home, my God, every home. Oh God, have mercy on parents. Have mercy on parents, on the young boys, the young girls, my God. Where we've been seeing so many things happening these last days in this little island, God. And we asking you for mercy, my God. We can see the devil is raging and looking for way out to destroy the mind and the thoughts of people my God especially the men we can see the male figure we can see how the enemy is walking through the male figure men arise and turn to Jesus turn to Jesus repent repent and turn to Jesus amen we can see what is going on amen hallelujah with the seed bearers what the enemy is doing in their life but we asking you to turn to Jesus before it is too late. Men, as though they afraid God, they afraid the living God, they afraid to give in to God because they like the pleasure of the world. They love the things of the world, and yet they not seeing what is happening. What the devil is taking away the men, the men one by one. He's using the men because their mind, their mind is so far from. God. God. And Father God, we pray for the covering of your blood in every home. Parents, pray and bring up your children in the way of God that when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Parents, have a close relationship with God. It's not too late. Begin to teach your children the truth. Amen. Cover the parents under your blood and lead them on the right track, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Cover them, Lord. Cover every home under your blood. My God, I take your authority and I pull in down every 
every wicked opposition. My God, that is fighting against your people. My God, we dismantle in those opposition right now. Every suicidal spirit, every mothering spirit. My God, that arises in the heart of men, oh God. I cancel them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Take control in the heart of the men and women right now. In the name of Jesus, every Jezebel spirit, every spirit of destruction that is coming their way. Oh God, speak to them in dreams and in visions. Let them know that you are God and you are in control. They can call upon you. They can trust you because there is no one else like you. Oh God, you are our Abba Father. My God, speak to the heart of your people. Oh God, let them turn away from their wicked ways, from their deeds and turn to you. Oh God, we pull in down. My God, every stronghold, we bind in every strong man. Let every altars, oh God, be crushed by the enemy's altars that is set up, oh God, against your people. My God, let them be crushed and diminished in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, mouthward of curses, bad wishes. Holy Ghost, fire, burn them up now in the name of Jesus. Cover, cover your people under your blood. My God, we come against the plans of the enemies and all the strategies and the assignment that the enemy is using to destroy home, destroy your people, Holy Ghost, fire born and destroy those evil plans. In the name of Jesus, we come against the workers of iniquities. Kurobo shata, reko torobo sheke. My God, destroy their evil works. Let the works become powerless. The works of all those who are walking filthiness against one another. My God, are called Luminati. My God, those witchcraft workers. My God, whoever they are, God, let the Holy Ghost fire burn up their evil works. Burn it up, my God. Crush up their evil work. There is none greater than you, none mightier than you. You are God, mighty and truly all powerful God. Nothing cannot stand in your way. And God, we asking you for your intervention right now. Turn things around. Every generation causes, my God, we break in right now in the name of Jesus. We put in them, oh God, under control right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of delay, my God, every spirit that is standing in the way of your people that is stopping them from reaching their destiny or from being promoted. Holy Ghost, fire, burn and destroy the works of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Satan, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. You come to kill, to steal and to destroy. But let me tell you that all powerful God come that we will have life and have it more abundantly. So we rebuking and we canceling the plans of the enemies right now. Every plan, wherever it comes from, who stop trying to destroy the mind of God's people. We rebuking you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, bringing all kind of arrows in the body of God's people. Holy Ghost fire, burn up every arrows, burn up every sickness burn them up my God quench them God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whatever is placed in the life of your people my God let the Holy Ghost fire burn them up now in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of the Lord my God we have seen the mountain move we have seen the rivers dried up and there is power in the word of the Lord and God we asking you for your supernatural intervention over Grenada right now Take your place, oh God, and turn things are wrong. Whatever the devil meant for bad, turn it are wrong for good. Let your people stop going to the witches, uh, my God, and causing so many chaos, uh, bringing so many spirits in their life, my God. Let your people, oh God, stop going uh, to the witchcraft workers and let they turn to you. There are so many people who take in time and making the effort, spending the last cent, uh, my God, to the witchcraft workers uh, to destroy innocent people like but God Holy Ghost fire oh horrible shatter record horrible shake burn up the evil works destroy the evil works right now in the name of Jesus cover all the children under your blood the children that are in school 
My God, let your angels encounter around them, cover their books. My God, whatever that touches the desk and the chairs under your blood, oh God, your arms of protection upon the children, those rebellious ones, oh God, we ask that you intervene into their life, oh God, and turn things around, oh God, in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, take your place. Take your place, oh God, dear Father Grenada. We need to rise up and pray. We need to come together. Stop looking at religion. Stop looking at one another. Forget about religion. Think about who God is and what God wants, what God requires of us, and come to God and let us stand. Let us build change. Um, I'm chain link and let's pray and to pull down the stronghold. We remain too quiet and reluctant. We got to prideful and self-righteousness and allowing the devil to intervene and destroy, taking control over every situation, even in right in the churches. The enemy is walking. Some people. People praying with the devil, sleeping with the devil, eating on the table, dining with the devil. We need to arise and ask God for the spirit of this judgment and take that authority that is given unto us. Uh, arise and become aggressively in the spirit and pull down strongholds and break uh, those wicked chains, move those shackles. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let those stones that is in our way be rolled away that we will be able to see God for who he really is. Is, uh, arise churches, arise people of God and take your rightful place in the Lord's time to stop the sleeping, time to stop the things uh, that you are doing. Wake up and turn to God. God is coming soon. God is calling upon us to repent from our evil ways. Uh, repent from our evil deeds uh, and turn to him. We are serving a risen savior. Amen. One that will never leave us or forsake us. He is willing to do whatever it takes to bring changes in our heart. Are we ready? Are we ready to give in to him? Are we ready to surrender unto him and let him make way for us? A hey, go God, every closed door, my God, every closed door, every door that are shut. Oh God, open it up, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my God, take your place. Your place. Cover the nation, oh God. Cover the nation under your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Too much much wickedness, too much suicidal, too much murdering spirit, oh God. Change the heart and the thoughts of men and women, my God. Let them come to you. Let them come to you by repenting with a repenting heart, feeling sorry for the wrong things that they are doing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My God, to Grenada, Carico, Pity, Matnik, national and international, God bless you. Wake up, wake up, wake up, people, and turn to God. Amen. Let us not take life easy as before. Amen. We can see things that is happening. It's all written in the Bible. Amen. And it's happening. Let us arise. Amen. In the spiritual realm and go to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Our God is awesome and amazing. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I bring your greetings, I bring your greetings, I bring your greetings. Oh, from the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our soon coming King, the Savior of the world, hallelujah. The sovereign God, the Savior of the world, the one that died on the cross of Calvary for us, hallelujah. Because of love, that real agape love, hallelujah. He don't want us to go to hell. He don't want us to perish, so he, he died that we will come to him we will commune with him we will ask for forgiveness and build a life in him amen hallelujah we serve in the same god yesterday today and forever this is evangelist joan patterson from the new awakening ministry amen situated in telescope st andrews amen hallelujah you all are invited to come worship god praise the lord thank you jesus now the word of god is so sweet i always like to use that word the word of god is so sweet as you continue to read it amen as you continue to share it you're not only sharing for people out there but you're sharing for your own self because the word of god is to make us hallelujah thank you lord in verse 17 of ephesians amen 
this I say and testify in the Lord that you must no longer, O oh, Kasahayakamatande, you, you may no longer walk as the Gentiles do. Amen. In the futility of the mind. Amen. They are darkened in the understanding, aliant from the life of God. From the life of God because of ignorance people of God those that are washed in the blood of Jesus are you still ignorant of the truth are you still walking in darkness are you children of the light and walking in the light and everywhere you go People can see Christ in you. People can point out that's a child of God. Amen. Do we live in that life? Or oh, we live in, in darkness that we cannot even go out and tell nobody about the good news because we are afraid or ashamed that they are going to tell us of who we, of who we really are. What is happening? Amen. It is time for we to stand up. Amen. As soldiers and stand and out for Jesus, hallelujah, because we are no more children of the dark, amen. We are not living an ignorant life, but we are children of the light, which the joy of the Lord is flowing within us, O Kamasike, that out of our belly shall continue to flow rivers of living water, amen. That water we are drinking, amen, hallelujah. My God, that water we drink from Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah from that well that we will never run dry if you see find yourself running dry you got to go before God and ask a question why what is it happening and sort yourself and come back to God repent and go back to God a eh? hallelujah but we are no more children in the dark amen no more no more we are no more amen Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Due to the hardness of heart, is your heart still hard? Is there any children of God that heart is still hard? If so, you don't born again yet. You need to be born again. You might think in that you are born again and you are a child of God. But if you are hardening your heart against the word of God, you don't born again yet. Amen. Hallelujah. Because once you are enemy with the, once you are a lover of the world, you are enemy with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They have become gallants and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy, to practice every kind of impurity. Well, I don't believe that any child of God who are washed in the blood of the Lamb, amen, will be practicing such a filthy things, amen. Because a child of God, knowing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that we serve, we cannot live in those kind of life anymore. What past past? What go gone? Amen. Hallelujah. Careless to who you were, that gone. You are forgiven and all your sins are thrown in the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. If man want to carry it for you, let them carry it. Amen. If they want to bear it, let them bear it. Hallelujah. But in yourself, in your heart, you know the past is already gone. Amen. Amen. And I am speaking of my own self. Amen. Hallelujah. So whoever want to hate me, whoever don't like me, whoever think that I am pretending, so be it. But one know their heart. When God changed you, no devil in hell could ever stop you. Amen. So if man want to carry your burden, let them go ahead and carry it. Bring it forth in the name of Jesus. But we don't want it. I don't want it. Amen. Amen. So it's time that you let go. Even if you was a prostitute, a prostitute, if ever you was a lesbian, a homosexual, you are noble that today you are a child of God. If you was a gambler, today you are a child of God. If you was a cosmon, today you are a child of God. Walk in the light. Amen. As you continue to see God. Amen. No matter what man say, let nothing what man say bring. Bring your dung, stand up, 
rise up for Jesus. Amen. Be as an eagle. Hallelujah. As an eagle when the eagle flying up. Come and somebody fly with his head up. Amen. And flying in integrity. Can we walk in integrity? Can we walk with dignity? Amen. Can we walk in the spirit? Hallelujah. We walk in. Hallelujah. With our head up. Ah, come on somebody. Praise the Lord. Just give in to God and let God have his way. Praise the Lord. And they have become gardens and given themselves up to sensuality, greedy, to practice every kind of impurity. Amen. If you get yourself practicing any type of impurity, go back before the throne of God. But that is not the way we learn. Hallelujah. We learn to lean on Christ. We learn to lean on Christ. Learn the word of God. Amen. Assuming that you have heard about him when we were taught in him as the truth in Jesus to put off your old self. Bedrin, I am speaking to believers. The word belongs to us. Amen. Listen to the words. The word belongs to us. The word of God is our mirror. The word of God is our light. Do you put off your old self or you carrying your old self to those that are in Christ? Hallelujah. Once you are a child of God, the old self must be demolished, amen, with the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be carrying your old self. Put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner life, is corrupted through the sinful desire. Amen. I remember the days when I did love going to party. When in the days I used to take a little smoke, not regular, but I used to take a little smoke following little friends. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember those days when I live a filthy life hallelujah but those days is already gone those days is no part of me anymore today i am a child of god no longer a slave to fear but i am a child of god resurrected in the spirit amen with the power of god upon my life today i am regenerating amen new life amen new thoughts new way of thinking new words coming out from my mouth hallelujah if i get myself saying things that i used to say that means the old self is still in me if i get in myself going the place where i used to go that means the old self is still in me but hallelujah with the help of the holy spirit i can proclaim i can say that i am a child of god hallelujah praise the lord thank you lord and to keep the fire burning, to keep the Spirit of God walking through your life. Amen. He keeps it reading the word, practicing the word. Amen. And praying every day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we don't want to go back in that old deceitful form of man of life. We used to live. It was a corruption life. Any man or woman of God getting themselves, having their wife at home and fornicating, committing adultery, adultery outside there. You have to be mad. You got to go back. God can call you home at any time if you don't have, re have time to repent. You know where you will be going. Amen. You think that a fornicator could enter the, the kingdom of God? You think that one that commit adultery could ever enter the kingdom of God. No way. The Bible tells you that in the book of Galatians. Loud and clear. Go over and continue to read in the book of Galatians. And it is time that we begin to obey the word of God and live according to the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God. We cannot continue living the same old life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There must be changes in our life. And if we cannot change, then we got to be wrong. Amen. God is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. In the book of Thessalonians 4.1, then, brothers, we ask and we urge you in the Lord Jesus that you receive from us 
how you ought to walk, amen, how we ought to walk in God, amen, that is, you read the word and you obey the word, you allow the word of God to come alive within you, amen, praise the Lord, as you are doing that you do so more and more you draw closer and closer to god you have a closer relationship with god for you know that what instruction we gave you through the lord jesus christ for this is the will of god amen we must obey god instruction hallelujah hallelujah we must as we continue to read the word and grow in the word and become mature in the world day by day amen we must able to live according to God's standard hallelujah praise the Lord for this is the will of God your sanctification that you up you sustain from sexual immorality amen each one of you know how to control his own body. Do you know how to control your own body in holiness and honor? We must control our body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust. Amen. Hallelujah. Always remember Jesus Christ went through so many temptations. And Jesus Christ is also man and human. But he stands on the word. He keeps his eyes on the word. Amen. He didn't turn. Hallelujah. But he continued meditating upon the word of his father. That is the example he leave behind for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Like the Gentiles who do not know God. Amen. That no one transgress the wrong his brother in this matter. Because the Lord is a vengeur in all things. As he told you beforehand, solemnly warned you, for God has not called you for impurity. God did not call us for impurity, but God called us to live a life of purity and sanctification. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we can grieve the Holy Spirit so much. Believers, God wants us to live a holy life. Amen. Praise the Lord. But in holiness and purity, therefore, whoever disregard, disregard not man, but God. Always remember what you do. You're not doing it to man, but unto God. So we have to be careful. Therefore, whoever we are doing it unto God, who, who gives his Holy Spirit in you. Now concerning brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you for you yourself have been taught we got the written word nobody have to write to us anymore we have the written word that is in the book of thessalonians 4 thessalonians 4 verse 7 amen read the word hallelujah now concerning brotherly love you have no need for anyone to write to you for you yourself have been taught the word of god you taught how to love one another amen it is written are we reading the word of god and allowing the word of god to come alive within us amen hallelujah verse 9 of thessalonians and 10 praise the lord you are doing to all the brothers throughout macedonia but we are urging your brothers to do that this is more amen and more and to inspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to walk with your hands as we instructed you amen the word is our instruction that you may walk properly before outsiders and to dependent on no one. Amen. That's the word of God. We have to walk properly before outsiders. That is those who don't know God. If we cannot walk properly before them, are we going to be an example? Are we going to be leaders? Amen. We can't do it like that. Amen. But for we do not for we do not want you to be ununiformed brothers, but those who are asleep that you may not grieve as other do 
who have no hope. Amen. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so does Jesus God jesus god will bring with him those who are falling asleep don't you want to be with jesus don't you want to be resurrected don't you don't you don't, do you really want to have eternal life amen hallelujah to be caught up from in the air when the day the lord comes the day he return are you ready amen we got to get ready we got to prepare ourselves for the coming of the lord that's why we got to repent and live a steadfast life, a steadfast life in the Lord. Amen. Turn from the things that you are doing and turn to Jesus because Jesus is coming soon. He is coming for a church that is ready. And when I say the church, a people that is living a life that is pleasing to him. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Evangelist Joan Patterson from the New Awakening Ministry, Grenada Karikupiti Matnik, National National and international begin to serve God with excitement. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Father, we thank you. Cover the nation under your blood. Cover those that are listening under your blood. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm no longer a slave.